right, all right. Welcome and happy Wednesday. We're gonna be diving in to trade updates on Bitcoin from Monday's video. We're also gonna be taking a look at Bitcoin Cash and talking about a trade setup over there that we had since on Tuesday from an alt stream that we did. And then we're gonna dive into some live trades that we have on Bitcoin right now as well. If you're brand new to this channel, then welcome. My name is Shiloh, I'm a full-time trader since 2017 and I'm focused on becoming the industry leader and creating successful traders. So if you're struggling to see results and check out some of the links down in the description below to get started and see if New Wave Traders is a good fit for you, I would recommend getting started at mytradingpath.com or tradethewave.com. All right, so diving into this here, what I'm looking for on a daily time frame right now is a retracement up to 40K. And that goes out the window if we come underneath $24,600 and probability drastically decreases in bull's favor if we go underneath the 0.618 retracement, which falls at 27.3K. That means in the short term here, we've been pulling back in this really nasty, low volatility type of correction in here. And I'm looking for an overall A, B, C pattern like so down to that 27.3K, at which point I am projecting that we'll see continuation back up to the 20, or the 40K mark, something along the lines like this. So this would give me a larger count here of an A, B, and a C up to 40K. And this entire range back here is going to be acting as resistance. So as much as we've fine tuned it down to the point of breakdown order block here, which is that 40K level, it could go as high as even 47,000. All right, so far my one-to-one -one extension for my A wave and my C wave though, on log scale puts me at the top of the range at about 47, 48K. And on linear scale, which is regular scale here, it comes perfectly into that 40K mark right there. So that's the difference between log and linear scale. So I'm gonna go for the more conservative target first at 39.5 slash 40K here for this C wave as the one-to-one. -one. Now, a great lesson that's been going on here is that you can only take from the market what is it is capable of giving you. And that means when we get into really small tight ranges, you can't execute drastically big moves from it. And for the last six, seven days, we've been in a tight 1% range for the majority of the candles here. And so that makes very, very tight trading range that is one, near impossible to really execute much on or capitalize on much um, unless you're doing high leverage scalp trading. And so what we've been doing here is taking opportunities for us to break towards the upside. So we're looking at this range and we're making projections on whether or not we'll break downwards or if we're gonna swing upwards, take the liquidity above 30K and then reject back downwards. And so on Monday, I was looking for a move up and I was long on this trade here, which if we go back to our video, on Monday, August 14th that we posted here, you can see that we were in a long setup that was already in the green and we were able to risk off on this trade. We did that live on Monday, risked off on it, which means that we brought our stop loss up to break even so that we couldn't lose any money on that trade there. And then we were looking for a potential roadblock where this move up turns into an ABC instead of continuation all the way up to 30.3K. So it's always very crucial that we understand where our trades can fail at and where our roadblocks are gonna be as well. When I say roadblock, that basically means where does price likely pivot or is gonna find a lot of resistance or support against the trade that we're in. And for us here, that basically boils down to moving into uh, the Discord here, where I updated inside of strategy setups in our group coaching channel, our one-to-one -one at 29,691, which is where we're gonna find that C wave roadblock. And if we rejected off of that too hard and came underneath $29,500, which is the 0.618 retracement of this move, then our ABC was likely going to be confirmed 100% confirmation at the previous low here. We'd already risked off on this trade. And so this is super cr crucial to understand because a lot of the times you can salvage trades. So even though you end up being wrong, you don't lose any money on it. And that's the best place to really be able to get your trade as fast as you possibly can is, when do I have a new invalidation for my trade setup to where I can raise my stop loss and risk off on the trade altogether? Um, at which point then we can try and maximize on hitting those bigger targets. Of course, being aware of where those roadblocks are to where the trade can roll against us. And so you can see here, rejection is a bit hard. The 618 um, is at 29,450. So under that is not good. 
Notice how the first leg rejects back to the 0.5, so we likely need a big B wave to make up for it, and that likely is a zigzag which opens us up to the waterfall. Some terms that we use inside of our system, but basically meaning that this trade is weakening. And so the fact that we're able to recognize that is very key in trade management. And so I talk about here, risk is off on the trade, but we can close it out green if we just watch it a little more closely on this retracement. And then GMX will be similar as well. And this is the trade update on GMX in there, which we were also able to risk off as well. So both trades ended up rolling over, but no money was lost on them because we were able to salvage them by recognizing where it is weakening at and then where probability shifts against us as well. So then, as price rolls over, it offers another trade opportunity as well. And this brings me into my Tuesday alt stream here, where we opened up shorts. So on the shorts here, you can see that this was our C wave over here that was rolling over, came down underneath 29,450, at which point probability shifted towards the downside. We exited, the, exited this trade, and then it came down, would have triggered the stop there, bounces up and now this leg here becomes the start of something and so now we open up shorts on this move here with an invalidation up at the previous high here which all takes its sweet little time rolls over to the right here and then we get another rejection down and this is a really great example that we're walking through inside of the group coaching where we have a liquidity grab right above this range that formed which is our c wave so a three wave move that takes the liquidity above the b wave range okay and if you don't understand those terms it's okay um, and it rejects back into this previous range here, and then it comes down to the bottom side. Now this move here likely becoming the start of something. So we open up and we add to this position over here, mainly because I had one more entry up here at the 0.618 that just barely got missed. And so we had to mark an order into this rejection here because we had the confirmation at the time that this was an okay setup given our strategy to follow it. So now we're looking for this to reject all the way towards the downside as well. And we've got a roadblock at $29,051 that we wanna be aware of. Now the moves in here are very small. Um, the stop loss on this trade right here, for example, is 0.4%. And anything, if you have a risk management of 1% per account size, that means anything where your stop loss is less than 1% on your trade, you can use leverage. And so in this case here, you could have used right about 2x leverage um, to double up the position size. And so that 0.4% move, we're now looking for a move down underneath 29,000. That's gonna be our first roadblock, but because that move is so small, I want, I want to keep track of the larger time frame taking place in the larger count. That way you don't miss out on the trades that start running because the market's working on a higher time frame, not the time frame that you've entered in on. And so that's where a multiple of four really comes into a play. And that's where our next setup here, so that now we're in this short here, and we go back over to our update in the Discord where we get the drop towards the downside and we're able to now move our stop loss down into a take profit or a, into a profit zone. So again, we've risked off on the trade and we can't lose any money on it. And we didn't have to take profit in this really small um, area. We've come down here at 29,051 and we've bounced up here, but we're gonna hold on to this trade here without taking profit and instead just risk off on the stop loss so that we can see if we can capitalize on a bigger position towards the downside. Okay. So now we come back over here to Bitcoin and we zoom into that 15 minute time frame and keep in mind that that bigger picture there on the daily time frame is that we're looking to go down to 27.3K. So there's a big move towards the downside and we've just used a really small time frame entry to enter into it. So we can go ahead and slap those trades on here and now we can see the updates of where we're at right now in real time. So we've, uh, where we ended off in the Discord on this move here, where we moved our stop loss down into profit. There were further updates that took place here as well. And we can move our stop loss down even lower, tighten it up, 29,154 is the next invalidation here. And we move over to the real-time chart here. And you can see that we were able to maximize by not exiting when this bounced right here. We just moved our stop loss to our new invalidation zone, which was 29.3. We let all of this fill in and then our new invalidation became 29.154 right here just now. And so we've moved our stop down into this territory here. And now what we have that is threatening this short trade from actually following through towards the downside is going to be this leading diagonal or potentially an, even an ending diagonal. So to make sense of this trade here, you've got a connecting structure here that's looking to connect this drop over here 
towards the downside. And that's again what that's how we get down to 27.3k. And so these trades right here are trying to maximize by entering in up here, trying to capitalize on that move down to 27.3k, at which point I'm projecting us to make a big move up to 40k. Now, this goes back to saying that you can't take more from the market than what it's willing to give you. And what I mean by that is we've been playing for the last six, seven days in the, these tight little moves that are up and down that are basically 1%. And so if the market's not going to see continuation up and we get chopped around in here instead, salvaging those trades is a really great job at maneuvering all this without losing any money at all. Okay, and our system allows us to do just that and I've walked you through exactly how we did that as well just now. Where does this take us now? Well, we've got the leading diagonal here and this is going to threaten our stop that's at 29,154, but that's in profit. It's green and we might do an ABC move up, at which point we might, I'm looking for it to roll over again. Okay, and so I'd look for another trade setup up here to try and capitalize on that move down again. We'll see if the market gives it to us. Okay. So that's the overall trade update for Bitcoin. We are in a long right here on this move. It rolled over, we risked off on it, exited in green. We then opened up a short here for this move towards the downside, added to that short right here because I missed my second entry on this top side right there. New invalidation became 29.482. Price dropped towards the downside here. New invalidation became 29.330. We slowly but surely rolled off to the right there, and new invalidation has become 29,154. This has now created a larger time frame pattern, which now threatens this stop loss by looking for an ABC move up, and then rolling over again, at which point I'd look for another trade setup here rather than holding on to that full retracement. I'd rather just exit down here in in green. Now this brings me over to Bitcoin Cash because in our Tuesday alt stream for Bitcoin Cash here at 37.13, we had a beautiful trade set up where we were treating this move here like the start of something towards the downside, which had an entry as you can see here at 235.85, stop loss at 247.68. If we come back over to the Bitcoin Cash chart here, you can see that same entry 235.85, haven't moved the uh, trade setup on this here, 247.68 is the top of that for invalidation and looking for that one-to-one -one move towards the downside at 184.05 with a roadblock coming up at about 210 or so, which we're pretty close to right now. The thing with this trade is a beautiful trade that is up about 10% right now. Oh, I guess I already had that on there. So up about 9.5% right now on this drop that we had inside of the uh, altcoin TA chat during our group uh, live stream. So what I'm looking for here is a now a move all the way down to 185.18, at which point I look for this to start to pop back up again. Okay, so still maybe another 10% move towards the downside, and this would match up with Bitcoin moving down to 27.3K as well. Uh, what we wanna watch out for here is this floor that the yellow dotted line is at gets reclaimed like so, at which point we're probably looking at a larger running flat taking place here and then correcting back down. This just shows you the difference too of what you can take from the market as well when it gives you a little bit more. Over on Bitcoin, we've had basically a 1% drop, whereas with Bitcoin Cash, we've had a 9.5% drop. So huge outperformance in that manner to be able to capitalize on here. But it does require too that the stop loss is a little bit um, bigger percentage. So your risk to reward ratio is still relatively the same. If you wanna stay up to date on these trades, you can come and join us inside of our free Discord channel here where I've got updates on Bitcoin and our trade setup here that's going on right now. And then also on that Bitcoin cash trade as well. If you got value from this video, make sure to hit that like button and to support the channel and share it to other social platforms or Discord channels that you're in that you feel others could benefit from this information as well. And if you're interested in learning the new wave system or seeing if it's a good fit for you, then check out mytradingpath.com or tradethewave.com. Both the links are gonna be down in the description below. And I'll see you for Friday's video. Much love, fam.